I don't think I'm necessarily better, but I think I learn maybe faster than others, and I'm more focused when I play because I eat better and I exercise a lot. I think it's pretty interesting that a lot of the pro players never do any exercise and they just play the entire day in and out. In the short term, it's really good for them and they, like that, it shows that they're really good. But I think in long term, like over five, maybe ten years, it's a lot better that they focus on other stuff as well. I think my goal for the future is to play in the LEC. I would like to be there in the next year, but we'll see what happens. Right now I'm just focusing on myself and trying to get as good as I can. I am Christian Jensen and I am the jungler for Excel and my in-game name is Texa. My routine is a bit different from other players. I usually wake up early. I like to wake up at 9.40 and then I brush my teeth. I make some coffee for myself. I bought a Mocha Master. So I make nice coffee in the morning. I make like four cups, three cups. And I enjoy the coffee while I play solo queue in the morning. That's the highlight of the day. Is there a specific kind of coffee? I mean, I just like strong coffee. So whatever I can find that's strong and tastes good. In the morning when I wake up early, I have a guy that I do it with. I'm usually in solo queue by 10. We usually talk a lot about how we can get better and between games I will always look at my games and see what I can do better. And then I, of course I watch lots of Korean players and stuff like this as well in my free time. How much do you think practicing solo queue before scrims has a, an impact? I tried doing both, so I think Practicing before scrims definitely is better than not practicing because then you actually play during the day before you get into scrims. Because if I don't play and I just get into scrims and I play the first game, I'm usually not playing that well as if I practiced before. I used to track my calories a lot, but now that we get catering, then I just eat what Excel provides. But on my off days, I usually try to get some decent food that's not really unhealthy. And I usually know how many calories I eat, but I don't track them anymore because I got used to it. Right now I'm trying to cut down, so I'm eating around 2.2K calories. I take supplements, I take vitamins, like all of them and a lot of extra stuff as well. I sometimes make food at home after, like in the evening, I'll make some eggs and some avocado or something, if I feel like I didn't eat enough catering or something, so yeah. How important do you think it is for people to have the correct nutrition? I think if you want to build up your body and be healthy, I think it's really important. But for a lot of gamers, they just don't care about it. And I mean, it, it's fine, but in long term, I think it's way better to like eat healthy and work out a lot. I play for like three hours and then I go to the office and we practice as a team. Usually after a long day of scrims, I'll be like really tired and my brain will be overheated or something. I usually go to the gym. I usually swim after practice. I just turn off my brain and I just swim and it's really relaxing. It's just nice. I've been doing serious exercise pretty much all my life because I used to be a semi-professional swimmer. I used to swim a lot and I used to play football and all that stuff, but my swimming was definitely something I did a lot and I went to the gym with that as well, and yeah. Is your routine different on a, a match day? Usually on match days, I tend to sleep a bit longer because we usually play really late in the evening. So I'll sleep like, I'll go to bed maybe two hours later and then I'll sleep two hours more, but that's only because we play really late and I want to be at my A game in the evening as well. Before competitive games, I like to watch my enemy team's games because I usually look at the enemy jungler and see if he has something that I can exploit. I think usually I will have a plan in my head of what the enemy jungler is going to do, but it all depends on matchups and like, there's a lot of variations of what can happen, right? So I will not always know what's going to happen, but I usually have a rough idea of how he will play and how he'll path and where he's going to put his pressure. He's going to go down! First blood to Taxa! Taxa!
Massa taking first blood on Lee Sid, so crucial. Yeah, big, big lead there. That comes off tax of being very proactive on this Lee Sid. Magic Felix is taking the towers, is taking the base. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your UKLC Summer Champions, Fnatic Rising. How do I cope with losing? I don't know, man. I actually don't know what I do. I'm just chilling. I mean, after a loss, I don't really do much. I think I just don't get tilted because I know what happened and what went wrong. And then why would I get tilted? I mean, I can get a bit mad if my if I feel like it was not my fault that we lost lost the game or something. But it's a team game, so if I lose a game and I feel like it was not really my fault and I feel like I did the best I could. I usually try to look at what happened and what went wrong and then I'll, like if it's someone, some of my teammates made mistakes, I'll try to help them. Are you more likely to want to go swimming and clear your head after a win or after a loss? It doesn't matter. I just have a routine. I just do it. The advantage of having a routine is probably that your brain knows what it's going to go through and there's not anything new. For you and like you don't have to think about your day, you, you know what's going to happen and then you can focus on the things that matter. So you can focus on the league when you're practicing and stuff like this. So do you ever like get tempted to just say, fuck it, I'll just play more league instead? I mean, sometimes when I'm, when I feel like I don't play that well, I might skip something and then play some more League of Legends. But usually I find it to be better just to keep doing my routine and then, yeah, I like that more. If I would, could give an advice to a new player, I would probably tell them to get a routine, go to the gym, play league and think about what you're doing and find stuff that you can improve on and then try to be a nice guy. Don't think about all the toxic guys out there. Be the good guy in the team. That's it. <laughs>